Okay guys, I'm gonna show you right quick how to easily bench check your club car. Actually, any golf cart that's got one of these Curtis controllers in it. You just simply wanna take that controller off of there and then you're gonna see where you're gonna take your hot lead and put it straight to where the lead that comes off of the solenoid, which is feeding your 36 volts or 48, whatever it is. And you're gonna follow that one off the solenoid to the Curtis controller and just clamp your positive there. Then you're gonna take another jumper lead to give you your voltage to power up the controller and you're just gonna jumper it off that same, I don't know if you can see that, that same place where you hooked up the main big jumper cable and just jumper it off with a small little alligator clip over to power up your, your box. Then you're gonna take, and you're gonna have to have a couple of leads off of there and you're gonna buy yourself off of Amazon one of these little uh, potentiometers. I think this one is a zero to, I think it's a zero to five K. They come in a multi-pack. You can get them zero to five, zero to 10, whatever. Then you take over here and you just make sure you have, that was your ground lead that was off the battery string that would have been in there, ground it. Then you go over here and you take your battery string, whatever battery string you have, and you just hook it up to the negative. And then just tap that positive first, make sure, because you don't know if that potentiometer is in the right direction. It could be on full throttle or no throttle, depending on which way it goes. And of course, the most important thing, jack the wheels up off the ground because you don't want this thing to take off on you. So you got everything, all your leads hooked up. And then you can just, now you've, you've essentially bypassed all the wiring and all the switches in the entire cart, forward, reverse, and everything has all been bypassed, strictly testing the controller and the motor. Then you take your potentiometer, You go and as you can see we are now controlling the speed with our potentiometer operational check good